How much can you deliver in 10 strokes in 10 minutes? That's the question that we're gonna answer in today's workout, come join me. Got another beginner 10 minute workout for you. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Shane Farmer, this is Dark Horse, where you build the life that you wanna live and we just happen to use rowing to help you get there with no waiting. We're just gonna get right into this. As always, any rowing machine is going to do here at Dark Horse, doesn't matter what you have, you can always work out with us. Now, things to consider, I'm gonna take you through warm up, workout, and cool down. It is gonna be longer than 10 minutes total, but the workout itself is 10 minutes and that's just more benefit to you because I'm gonna take you through the warm up, the workout, and the cool down all at once, so don't check out the end because I'm always going to give you a little bit of extra. So here we go. Go ahead and strap into your machine, whatever it may be, and we just start moving. From there, I'm going to start taking you into the warm up. So grab that handle, sit ready, and let's take off. All right. So just nice, gentle movement. Always want to start just letting the body move and just remember what it's intended to do when you're on this machine. The last thing that you want is to start a workout cold like I literally am right now. I don't know if you can see the hairs standing up on my legs or, or the goose pimples. What do you call them? Goose pimples? Get, uh, what's the other one? I can't, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm shivering here. So we also need to warm up to make sure that our bodies are hot because you don't want to put your body under a lot of stress when it's cold. You want to make sure that it's warm and ready to go. So moving along with me here, no stress, no pressure on it just yet pressure being how hard you're pushing into the machine. So just relax a little bit on that push. Just want to give another little shout out to my hometown baseball team, the Twins. I wore this one for those of you guys who are Twins fans. I get those comments frequently. Haven't seen the Twins hat in a while. There you go. This one's for you. So <laughs> that's just past a minute. What I want to do here is take us down to some simple drill work, simply moving arms only, then adding in the hip swing, and then adding in the legs. These are called pick drills because we're picking the stroke apart. So if you will, please, come join me at the release position in two strokes. That's one and two. That's the back of the stroke. Here we go. Arms only rowing. Find a rhythm with me. The goal here, straight in, straight out. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Don't be swinging your hips. Don't be moving your legs. Those legs stay straight. I want you to actively focus on a handle movement that's straight in, straight out, not up, not down, right? We're not trying to do any kind of crazy oval here. Just nice in and out. Arms should be starting to warm up now. Keep your grip relaxed. Keep your hands wide on the handle. <laughs> that's why I'm turning the handle like that. So just nice and easy. Finding a rhythm, no stopping. Don't hit your body. Here we go, let's add in the hip swing in two. That's one and two, add in the hip swing now. So here we begin to work on order of operations of the stroke. This is super important. You're like, listen, Shane, just give me a workout. Yeah, I know, I get it, I'm gonna get you there. But the point is, if we don't focus on the mechanics, then we become horribly inefficient in the movement, and that means that your workouts become less effective as in less calories burned, less ability to produce power, all the things that you actually want out of the workout, right? Maybe it's to lose weight, maybe it's to feel better. Those things all come faster with intensity. So absent the ability to create intensity, well, then there's really no point to it. So that's why the, the technique work, I like to sneak it in here, is because the more you can focus on the mechanics, well, as soon as you learn the stroke, then it gets, it gets great. Then you start loving the workouts. Then you understand how to drive more force. That's a big part of what we're gonna work on in today's workout. So in two strokes, let's add in the legs again. That's one. Remember, we're just learning how to swing the hips. That's two. And now let's add in the legs. Now don't let what we just practiced change. So it's still arms away, hips closed, then the knees bend. Now, if you're going through this and you do these beginner workouts with me and you want a more structured plan to help you out, then you need to come join me in the crew. It's our online program. And listen, I'm not trying to sell you onto a machine. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. It is simply the most effective program for learning this machine 
and then giving you libraries of workouts so you can literally accomplish whatever you want. Now it's not exactly the same as this. It's not follow along workouts. All, some of them are, but not all of them. Um, but what you're gonna get there is a plan and a path and coaching. So we've got the largest community in the world and we have coaches that are literally there to look at your technique if you want us to. And they'll review it for you in our private Facebook group. So anyways, you need to come join me in the crew. Links in the description below. Make sure after this workout's over, you go and join us. Click it, jump in. It's $19 a month. I mean, that's nothing. Probably spend more on that in the laundry detergent. All right, so let's take two more strokes. That's one. That's two. All right, let's set the handle down. You can unstrap for just a moment if you like. You should feel warm, but not out of breath or not like I've just beaten you up. Now we're gonna set 10 minutes on the screen. Again, whatever machine you have is fine. Just try to get 10 minutes set onto it. And if you can't even do that, it's totally cool because I'm gonna be setting 10 minutes, so essentially you'll get it as well. It just helps you to get more accurate data on whatever machine you're on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the setup on my monitor for you. This, which is a concept too. You're gonna go from the main menu, go to select workout, B button, new workout, D button, single time, B button, it's on 30, so I need to change that to 10. That's the C button or minus button twice, one, two, there's 10. I hit the E button, 10 minutes is on the clock. I strap in, you'll find out what the workout is as we get started, just follow me on stroke rate to start. Here we go, grab your handle, sitting ready in three, two, one, go. And here's today's workout. We're going to do 10 strokes at a time, counting down, follow my stroke rate here and we're gonna count down. So it's gonna be 10 strokes where you build in pressure keeping the stroke rate, okay? 10 strokes where you build in pressure keeping the stroke rate, and then you get 10 strokes nice and easy where you're just rowing consistently. Stroke rate is gonna be 20 all the way through this, and I'm gonna set that for you. So you just match me at the catch. And then the rest of the time, we go in these 10 stroke sequences where stroke one, we start to build the pressure by stroke 10. You're putting as much effort into that stroke as you can. Stroke rate stays the same. And this is to help you learn how to put force or how to put power into the stroke. So we're gonna start at the top of this minute here. We're at the rate. First 10 strokes are gonna be on. Two, one, here we go. One, build the pressure. Two, push that machine away. Three, accelerate the handle. Four, five, make it loud. Six, seven, eight, use those legs. Nine, squeeze your butts. 10, okay, now 10 easy. One, same rate though. Two, okay, so stroke rate stays at 20. Three. Four. Well, I set myself up here. Six. <laughs> the counting and the talking. Seven is gonna be real hard. Maybe I'll just go back to counting. I think that was nine. <laughs> and 10, here we go, starting to build again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Okay, I definitely can't coach. <laughs> Three, didn't think this through ahead of time. Four, it's all right, you just stick with me. Five, you can still get the work done. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go, let's count down this time. Ten, building, nine, eight, seven, six, Four, three, two, one. 
two. One. Ten. Nice and easy. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Start learning the difference between power and knot. Five. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. It's all in the legs. One. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. This is a fun one. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten. Nine. I love how different this is. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. We go. Ten. Nine. Just past halfway. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Back it down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Go, pick it up. One, two, three, six, seven. Keep building. Drop a little bit. Seven. Six. Five. Three. Two. One. Pick it up. Getting warm. Four. Push. Five. Use those legs. Six. Seven. Brace your core as you push. Eight. Nine. Ten. Easy. One. Two. Go build. One. Two. Three. Accelerate that handle. Four. Five. Six. 
Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Back down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Looks like we're coming up on our last minute. Two. One. One. There we go. Two. Get the most out of these ten. Three. Four. Five. Hang off that handle. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Take a couple strokes, check out your hammies, but don't stop moving because we got to finish this thing with a cool down. I cannot emphasize how important the cool down phase is. So many times, <laughs> and so many other coaches, frankly, they'll let you just get off the machine and be done. The value is in your cool down for a few reasons. Number one, when you're tired, it's the best time to work on your mechanics because if you're exhausted from the workout and you can still execute good mechanics, well, guess what? Next time you're in the middle of a hard workout and your body feels like it's falling apart, you're going to be able to still execute on the good mechanics, which means that instead of the part of the piece or the test or falling apart, you're going to be just fine. You'll be thriving. Your body will hold up. You'll be able to hold those mechanics, which means better force into every stroke. You'll still be going fast. You'll still be burning more calories. All the good stuff. All right, so that's one. Your body will be able to hold up. Number two is you send, now that we're taking the pressure off and it's nice and easy, you send all that lovely hydrate. <laughs> I can't speak. That lovely oxygenated blood into your body now, all the places that need it by asking them to still move. Now, instead of them breaking up because you just stand and walk away, now they get to just gently move and they kind of come back to life. So like, okay, all right, I got you. I got you. You're gonna, cool. You're gonna support me. You're gonna give me that fresh oxygen that I need to recuperate rather than just asking me to now go back to the regular demands of the day or sitting in a chair, all right? We sit a lot during our day, just like we do in a rowing. Let's do the most that we can to create good movement out of it, rather than static sitting, where our hips, our knees, our ankles all get unhappy over time. Let's just take 10 strokes to wind it down now. Just decreasing pressure every stroke. That's one, I'm gonna decrease stroke rate two. Two. Three, four, how slow can you push right now? Five, five, how quiet can your machine be? Four, three, two, stay here because I got stretches for you. One, go ahead and set that handle down. Unstrap your shoes. All right, so first things first, I want you to take that chin, you're gonna roll it down into your chest and then roll your spine and your pelvis so that you get this nice tilt in your trunk and then roll the head back up. 
and roll the chest back up and open. Okay, nice big spread now. And then roll it back down, round and open. And roll and open. Take your hands, clasp them behind your back, drive your fist down towards the ground to help you open that chest again. Remember how I mentioned that we do a lot of sitting? It's not great for us. Well, that means that our spine rounds as well. Mm, move around here, find some, find some love for your joints and your back. Good, take your right ear, bring it to your right shoulder, stretch out that neck, and kind of move it forward, back, forward, back. And to the left. Uh, forward, back, forward, back. Give yourself some love here. Bring that right arm across the chest. Guys, if you are not spending time stretching daily, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. Five to 20 minutes of stretching a day is going to extend your longevity years, years. And I'm not just saying that. Listen, I used to hate stretching because it felt too woo woo for me. And I was like, ah, I don't get it. I don't see the value in it. But that was also because I was 18 at the time. Listen, our bodies are incredibly supple when we're young. And the older we get, the greater need we have to continue that. And the reason, it's not age, it's not just because we get older and our bodies deteriorate. Listen, we have bad habits in our current lifestyles. That includes lots of sitting, as I've said many times. So because of that, take those arms, reach overhead. Because of all that sitting and that lack of the human movement, right? We stop picking up things. We said we just, we've made life so convenient for ourselves. So we've lost the humanity piece, the body's ability to just move as a machine in its environment the way that it was meant to. And so when we stretch, we're helping to bring some of that life back into our bodies to create longevity, to make our bodies move the way that we want to. So if you finished this workout and you absolutely loved it, then why are you not hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it? You need to be doing these workouts with me daily. Think about checking out the crew. It's in the description below. And while you're at it, if you need more beginner workouts to get you started and get you on your path, check out this playlist. We got you covered.